Hello and welcome back to Inside Out. My name is Kim Tree Slaughter and I am a board certified psychotherapist and a certified John Maxwell coach, speaker, and trainer. I make educational and personal growth videos that activate you to change your beliefs and actions so that you can receive real results from the inside out. Before we jump into this video, please like, subscribe, and share, y'all. Hit that notification bell for all upcoming videos. All right, y'all. In this video, we are discussing the importance and value in setting and maintaining boundaries. boundaries. Yes, boundaries. Let's get into it. So how do we define boundaries? A boundary is a line that marks the limits of an area. Boundaries say, here's what you can and cannot do to me. And here's what you can and cannot say to me. Think about the gun line in the movie, life. They couldn't cross that gun line or there would be consequences. Back to that later. Boundaries are vital to a healthy relationship. Every relationship should have boundaries. Every relationship. This includes friendships, intimate relationships, peers, and pets. Yes, I said pets. You know them pets that be jumping all on your furniture, licking you all in the mouth. Some people call it that. I ain't cool with that. That's a boundary that I have with my pets. Many of us struggle with setting boundaries because we fear being seen as mean and don't want to be uncomfortable. It's okay to be uncomfortable sometimes, y'all. It's not about others. It's about us. We have to get comfortable with setting boundaries. And we do that by focusing on our intentions. What is my intent? Why am I setting these boundaries? When setting a boundary, my intent is for my relationships to improve and grow. It's only up from there. We up, we up, we up, and it's up, and it's up. When we don't set boundaries, we put ourselves at the mercy of other people's wants, needs, and expectations. Here are some signs that you lack boundaries and why you need them in your everyday relationships. Number one, you experience guilt, shame, or anxiety when you say no. You have a right to say no to anyone. Setting healthy boundaries creates a space for healthy interactions and expectations. If someone gets upset and criticizes you for saying no, that's a sign that you need to set healthy boundaries with that particular person, okay? Number two, you are afraid of rejection from others. I get it. When we lack healthy boundaries, we can be sure that one of the culprits is in our childhood. Many of us did not have caregivers who provided unconditional love and acceptance. That's my story, y'all. You had to do what everyone else expected you to do. They want that whatever they wanted you to do, that's what you had to do. You had to accept it. And so in order to be accepted, you had to betray yourself. These experiences have caused you to fear rejection as an adult. So you don't set boundaries to get what you crave. And that is love and acceptance. It is one of the highest forms of self-betrayal. Don't do it, y'all. Don't do it. Number three, you don't like disappointing other people. You are so worried about disappointing others that you never say no. If not corrected, you will be eventually become a people pleaser. We don't want that because then that brings, that brings more issues. Number four, others are constantly taking advantage of you. You find that people often use shared information against you. Things you told them in secret, they use it against you and then they criticize you and blame you for things you are not responsible for. People don't respect you. They gaslight you by mixing a clash of truth and a load of lies, like a little bit of salt and a lot of pepper. Number five, you struggle to do nice things for yourself. You have the urge to purchase a new dress or shoes, but you feel guilty for buying them. I hear a lot of mothers say that, like, I don't know, I just feel so guilty. I should be buying this for my kids. No, you should be buying it for you. You should be buying it for you. You should be buying it for you. Boundaries are not about being right or wrong, okay? And they're not about being mean. Setting boundaries are a direct, hear me y'all, hear me y'all, a direct reflection of your value system. No one can determine whether your values are right or wrong. They just are. And that is enough. 
boundaries are not about putting up putting heavy restrictions on a relationship in fact healthy boundaries should make a relationship much stronger much more stronger and much more enjoyable and it should bring you closer also boundaries are not permanent your boundaries will change as you learn more about yourself we're always learning about ourselves and we're always evolving into our higher selves so as we evolve into our higher selves then we have a right to change our boundaries if it's something that no longer serving us then we don't have we don't have to do it anymore we can move on i hope this video was helpful i have a couple quotes for you a lack of boundaries invites a lack of respect okay a lack of boundaries equals a lack of respect boundaries without consequences are simply suggestions that is a quote by lisa turquoise boundaries are not about putting up walls but they're about building bridges okay about building bridges they make our relationships stronger they bring our relationships closer and so it's okay for us to set boundaries and then create space for other people to set boundaries with us let me know in the comments what boundaries do you need to set with other people or what boundaries do you need to set for yourself all right i gotta go because i gotta go get my boundary game up so get your boundary game up peace out hope to see you soon